The United States Citizenship and Immigration Services USCIS, is facing significant backlogs in processing certain types of immigration applications, causing immense hardship to the individuals and families involved. To address some of its most severe backlogs, USCIS is building a new service center. New Service Center The new service center will handle four different types of applications all of which require urgent situations including violence, persecution, or family unity and have seen processing delays of up to five years. The facility will be known as the HART Service Center, in honor of the categories of cases it intends to handle, humanitarian adjustment conditions, removal, and travel documents. U Visa Applications The U Visa is a special visa that grants legal status to crime victims who assist law enforcement with investigations. However, due to the limit of 10,000 visas being granted annually, there is an excruciatingly long waiting list. Even though laws place U visa applicants on a wait list while they wait for one of those 10,000 visas, the wait list itself takes five years to be decided upon. Bona fide decisions. It also comes with work authorization and prosecutorial discretion in the form of delayed action. After significant legal pressure in 2021, USCIS developed a new procedure to guarantee that U visa applicants may continue to work lawfully in the US and obtain driver's licenses and other services while their applications are being processed. Processing delays. Though it takes relatively little time, the bona fide decision which verifies that the applicant has completed a background check and filed a full application has already produced a bottleneck. 80% of cases are processed by the current service centers in five years. Violence Against Women Act. The Violence Against Women Act, VAWA, also established the means for immigrants who have experienced domestic abuse to self-petition for legal status. This enables survivors to remain in the country, work legally, and qualify for citizenship without depending on a spouse or other relative who could be abusing them or shielding an abuser to file a petition on their behalf through family-based immigration rules. Green Card Applicants Even if an immigrant meets all of the requirements for a green card, such as work petitions from a family who are citizens or permanent residents. They will still be denied one if they have ever been present in the country illegally. If keeping them out of the country would cause severe hardship for a spouse or child who is a citizen of the United States. As is the case for many families who face indefinite separation, these immigrants may be eligible to request a waiver. Provisional Waivers However, if the immigrant departs the country for the compulsory visa interview before the waiver is authorized, then they will be forced to wait years before getting a waiver to enter the nation again. Processing delays for these waivers increased six-fold between 2017 and 2022 as the Council revealed in a recent class action cockpit. Over the previous five years, 80% of these exemptions are decided by USCIS at two service centers, one of which takes three years and the other three and a half years to complete. Family Reunification Petitions the possibility to bring your spouse and children to the United States is one of the advantages of receiving formal asylum or refugee status. A year or greater is now the standard wait time for immigrants who have been granted refuge in addition to the backlogs that plague the asylum application process itself. Similar lengthy wait times are applied to those who enter the country with refugee status. The lawsuit. The adjudication of 80% of applications is taking more than a year at one of the two service centers now processing these forms while it is taking over two years at the other. The delays not only increase the risk to family members who might still be targeted and persecuted in their home countries while waiting for permission to join relatives in the US, but they also prolong the suffering of those who have already endured both persecution in their home countries and the stress and trauma of fleeing to the country and waiting for asylum there. Summary of the video. The new HART Service Center is expected to be completely operational by the autumn of 2024 according to USCIS and more information about how it will function will be released soon. The immigrants caught in these appalling backlogs shouldn't have to wait so long to experience significant changes. These are by no means the only application categories on which USCIS has lacked horribly during the past five years. In lawsuits like the Council's one about the temporary illegal presence waiver, Immigrants and their attorneys are increasingly turning to federal courts to expose the agency's shortcomings and compel USCIS to take action. A step in the right direction would be to increase capacity by opening a new service center, especially if it does not count for a brand new building. Yet, the agency has a great deal of work to do before the immigrants who are depending on their choices to organize their lives find its performance to be acceptable at the moment. The delays are so appalling. 
Thank you for watching, please like the video if this helps you. Subscribe the channel for future updates on US immigration.